The movie that we have been assigned to study is King Arthur. This film is set in the Middle Ages of the medieval period, which lasted from the 5th century to the 15th century. This period began with the fall of the Western Roman Empire and merged into the Renaissance and the Age of Discovery. In this movie, King Arthur, also known as Artorius Castus, led his remaining knights to fight the Saxons. He is a legendary British leader according to the medieval histories and romances, and the details of Arthur's stories are mainly composed of folklore and literary invention. In this pre presentation, we focus on the government, religion, culture, art and architecture, and technology, which involves inventions of the Middle Ages and what we have found in the movie King Arthur, which is focused on history and politics of the period during which Arthur ruled. In the Middle Ages, Europe was divided into many different states. Each state had its own system of government. Some of these, like Denmark, Spain, France or England, were monarchies and had kings or kefils to rule them. There were also two empires of Eastern Roman Empire in Eastern Europe and the Holy Roman Empire that ruled most of Germany and Italy. Some of these parts of Northern Italy were independent city-states like a republican government, like ancient Rome. Back in the days, people were also divided into different classes which were patricians, Libyans and slaves. Citizens of Rome voted for two consuls where they had to serve for a year. They also voted for a magistrate to keep their law in order and to also manage their financial affairs. They also voted for tribunes to make sure people were treated fairly. During the medieval period, the only recognized religion was Christianity in the form of the Catholic religion. The lives of the medieval people of the Middle Ages was dominated by the church. Some of the Romans were very superstitious because they believed that their luck depended on the gods. But majority of the Romans believed in the word of Christ, while the rest worshipped other gods in a temple and made, and made sacrifices for them. In the movie King Arthur, it showed scenes where the people who didn't follow the path of Christ were to be damned, which means they are condemned by God to suffer eternal punishment. These sinners are put in a dungeon while where they will rot till their death. There is one word to describe the culture in the Middle Ages, and that is barbaric. There were certain aspects of the Middle Ages that seemed rather glamorous such as king, queens and knights and other rumours that surround the time period. But overall, the Middle Ages were not a fun phase free type of time. Most people think of the medieval time as a place in history where gallant knight will ride into the sunset to slay a dragon for the love of a princess. They do not realise it was a huge time of superstitious. The lack of education... Medicine or not? Okay. Medicine, for, for an example, Medicine was pretty much example. Medicine was pretty much none as it seems. So the treatment for someone that fell ill or had some sort of medical issue was basically to wait it out and see what God decides. And as, as another example in the movie, a commoner must have faith in God, otherwise they will be locked up in the prison and tortured to death. As the people who believe in God think is God's wish as they sacrifice for the God. As for King Arthur and his knights. They have a habit and culture that every time they win a battle, they will congregate, celebrate their victory at the round tables. And it's also where the scene that Bishop sent Arthur and his knights to a dangerous war to have their freedom back. largely consisted of the architectural design and construction of castles, churches, monasteries, small homes, and other types of buildings were given less attention. From the movie King Arthur, you can see that there are a few examples of architectural buildings such as Gothic architecture and Romanist architecture. Gothic architecture was light, graceful, and mostly spacious in nature, particularly is emphasized in Gothic art and architecture which features almost skeleton stone structures. 
Romanesque architecture usually incorporates a high number of arches in its design. They have thick walls and few windows and little light. Saxon's metalwork is considered one of the finest of the time. It reflects the migratory period. It also came to illustrated manuscripts. That's why they use grey and gold. Medieval technology refers to the technology used in medieval Europe under Christian rule. Medieval Europe saw a lot of technological advances after the Renaissance of the 12th century, such as gunpowder, the invention of vertical windmills, spectacles, mechanical clocks, greatly improved water mills, and building techniques such as Gothic architecture and medieval castles. The tools seen in the movie are mainly made out of metal, and common weapons used were bow and arrows, axes, and swords. Transportation in the Middle Ages was very much based on upper socioeconomic classes in the Middle Ages, occasionally traveled in covered wagons. Another transportation option for elite was in a carriage-like box, balanced on two poles. The most common form of transportation, however, was on horseback, which was not limited to upper class, and this is what we saw in the movie. Most of them travel in horses. King Arthur is about the fight of the knights for freedom during the ruling of the Roman Empire. The scene we chose shows the social culture of that era where Christianity is exerted strongly to the people. And if anyone were to have different beliefs, they are considered sinners. I'm a Roman officer. You're safe now. Stop what you're doing! What is this madness? They refuse to do the task that God has set for them. They must die for an example. You mean they refuse to be your slaves? And you, you kept her alive. When we get back to the war, you will be punished by this action. Perhaps I should kill you now. To seal my faith. I was willing to die with them. Yes, to lead them to their rightful place. It is God's wish that sinners be sacrificed. Only then can their souls be saved. Then I shall grant his wish. <laughs>